Honestly, super grateful for this question because that is definitely something that I really worry about too. I've definitely noticed that as a special needs mom, it is so intimidating because I've never had a special needs child before. So this entire world is really, really new to me and with different ages come different needs in terms of equipment and health. It's really scary because I'm not a nurse and I oftentimes feel like, oh my gosh, I was not cut out for this. Something that I've learned that I think is so important to share is that when I let go and let God, everything comes back to me just so freely and so easily, specifically when it comes to Becca. I can't tell you how many tears I've shed and just how anxious I've been over worrying about the future. And every time I get to that next milestone that I was really worried about, for example, his preschool, I had no idea what school was going to look like for him. Was he going to get bullied? Was he going to be in a special needs preschool? I had no idea what my options were. But when that time came, all of my options were presented to me by his incredible specialist, and immediately I felt so much relief, and it was just such a good lesson. Rachel, just let go and let God. I could stay up all night thinking about what am I going to do when I can't lift him anymore? What am I going to do when my home isn't adaptable enough for him anymore? And I know that we will have the means and we will find a way to make his life comfortable. I will adapt my entire world to fit his needs because I love him literally more than anything. I love my children more than anything and I would give up anything I had to make their lives more comfortable. And I know with Beckham, that's going to be a lot more difficult because he is special needs and he is going to need a home that is comfortable for him. And that's not the home we're currently living in. But I know that we are going to be able to build a new home that is adaptable exactly for what he needs. And I'm not worrying about the how or the when. I am just letting go, letting God and trusting in the process and knowing that we will get there. I feel the same way about upcoming surgeries, insurance. You know that that might sound honestly not even logical, but for me, I have just learned that my role in Beckham's life is to have more faith than anybody else. And that's something that I always want to uphold. I've actually never talked about this publicly, but I am already starting to have a few issues in terms of getting Beckham around, carrying him, lifting him. I've actually been really having problems with my wrist, and I know it's from the way that I hold him, and sometimes his syringes like really, really hurt my thumbs. I just have some weak joints, and sometimes I get really down and I get like kind of nervous, like is my body going to be able to do this? And I'm like, you know what? It will, because every time I think I should be worried about the next step. I'm amazed by how much help and how many options we have. So I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but I know it's going to look amazing and be exactly what he needs.